Happy Sunday, hope you're all having a fantastic day and welcome back to our brand new I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Of course, over the weekend, Icon Swaps 1 dropped along with Foot Freeze. Now, I'm fully expecting over the next week, we're going to get some pretty cool daily SBCs that can be added to your squads. So I think next week and the week after this episode should be quite fun uh, looking at different squads with the different SBCs in. But also, I will recommend straight away if you guys uh, you know you're running uh, a team like for example this who i think is a very very nice team or or jack's team or literally any team here the first thing i'm going to recommend to you and it's going to be the same as everybody else it's go and do the icon swaps and get yourself that vintage card because that vintage card is a in my opinion uh, end game cb like he's a very good cb probably not end game cb but i would say he's definitely usable up until mid 2021 at least i would say sort of march april time um before team of the season because you won't get many better cbs for better value then free until the next icon slots possibly. So I would say go and complete that. Now we're going to start off with Callum's team. Uh, this is my team. I have 210,000 coins and the untradables are Courtois, Wambasaka, Alba and Carrasco. I packed Kante in a two-player pack earlier. Second pick is in-game. Let's check it out, mate. So you're playing a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Oh, sorry, you're playing a 4-3-1-2 in-game, sorry. Carrasco up top with Felix, uh, Lucas Mora, then Pogba, Fabinho and Kante. Good team. Very defensive three midfield. And then obviously you've got the attackers. I'm not 100% certain on this uh, Carrasco card. And I'm just wondering if there's a better way to get chemistry. My thought process here is the potential for... Um, hmm... You're going to play someone off cam anyway. You might as well play Zhao Felix at left at left mid as a centre mid on seven cam and then play Bruno Fernandes as your left cam and then play Bruno cam in game, Zhao Felix up top in game with um, with Lucas Moura as opposed to playing... Uh, eh. No, never mind. I was going to say, I, for, for some reason, I thought you had the Europa League Lucas Moura and you don't. So I actually take that back because... In fact, I'd say Yannick Carrasco is a better striker than Lucas Mora. I just, for me personally, like I've used a Yannick Carrasco card. I was doing icon swaps with him and he just couldn't finish anything for me. However, I do see the dilemma. There's not really a whole host of amazing cards that you can get there that are going to help you out. Um, so it might be a save job. You might just have to save for a little while until you can afford um, a better striker um, to go along with it. Maybe we get a foot freeze SBC. It's difficult with a team like this and you've only got 20k. There's not really many improvements you can make, um, which is why I understand why you, you'd be stuck. Uh, Jack's team next. Uh, this is my team now. We'll play the same formation in game and everyone is tradable except for Mendy. 15k right now, uh, getting more on Thursday and don't mind selling. Interesting. Um, Hernandez? Hmm. I'd honestly go with, I mean, you've got a whole host of different options you can go with. Maybe uh, Sanchez. Mendy's going to be on the eight chemistry, regardless if he gets another dead link or not. So you could go with Davins and Sanchez at left centre back, get full chemistry there. Um, and Suzuko on full chem as well. Um, you could go with the likes of, I mean, Mares is not bad, but I'm I'm not even kidding, right? Unless you're playing Mares as a cam, you're better off going with the Dalma Chore at right wing. And I say that because this year what I've found is that all-out pace and, and physicality seems to trump skills and, and dribbling a lot unless they're centralized players. Like, if it's central, pace isn't really the biggest factor, but if we're talking, like, a winger or right mid or left mid, like, it's pace and power, and that's about it, and that's all people seem to care about, and, you know, bridging and things like that. It's super irritating, actually, to play against, but that's what I would say to go with, maybe, unless you're playing Mahrez as a camp, because... You know, it matched the uh, the attack force perfectly. And get yourself like a Davidson Sanchez at left centre back and you are looking gravy. Uh, David Jones' is team next. I've got 50k at the moment, but I am willing to save up. Everyone, including the bench, is untradeable apart from Wijnaldum and Jota. Oh, you're using the new Jota as well. Oh, you got a new Balassi as well. That's pretty sick. I like that. That's really cool, actually. Um, all right, so my recommendation here, because you're, you're starting everyone but Zhao Felix on full chemistry in game as well, aren't you? Um, my recommendation here would be, to be honest, nothing. I'd sit on the team for a while. I mean, you could go for, you could go for, uh, you could save up, sorry, towards like a, a Varane. But apart from that, I'd probably just sit on this team for a little while because this is a good team, man. This is a very good team. Um, I wouldn't say there is much you can do with this team that that's going to make a significant, Im significant impact. Um, eventually, what we need, we need a French right back so that you could play Mukiele at CB, uh, get a French goalie and then get the French right back. 
but there's no real great French right backs this year. So maybe Foot Freeze brings us a French right back. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but this is a very nice team, man. I like this team a lot. I would just sit on the team and save, bro. That's what I would do. Uh, we have got, uh, we've done Callum's already. We've got Harrison's team next. I've got about a million at the moment. All players are untradeable. Who do you think I should get? Let's check it out. Finally, we've got some coins in the bank. Okay. Um, I would get a new goalie. I, I use Courtois personally. And I'm a big fan of Courtois. I like him a lot. I get Ferla Mendy at left back. Um, the simple ones. Um, what I would also do is, do you know what I would possibly do? I'd possibly get the Eredivisie players and, and get that new right wing Eredivisie player. I forget his name, but he's actually fantastic. Um, how would I go about finding him real quick? This card actually looks really, really good. Uh, I'm a big fan of the look of this card. If I go right mid right wings and then go for Dutch, here we go. Yes, Van Bergen. Like, this is actually a good card, man. I know you've got Messi. I know Messi's fun and all what and whatnot. But, like, this is actually a fun card. He's a really good card as well. Uh, he looks like he'd play really well in game. Um, so I'd recommend going for him. Just have a bit of fun with it, maybe. Um, apart from that, yeah, like I said, just get yourself Courtois. Get yourself Ferla um, and, and, I mean, the rest of the team is in a really good spot right now. Uh, I'm thinking that we might get a foot freeze Mason Greenwood because there is a, a, you know, EA are hinting at a Manchester United uh, freeze card. So it could be Mason Greenwood. That'd be pretty cool. Then you can have people that have got Rashford sort of replace their Rashford. Uh, Marcus's team next. Everyone is untradeable except for Edison Diogo Jota. I have 50,000 coins spare and I'm willing to save up. Keep up the good work. Hey, thanks, brother. I appreciate that, man. Uh, so what we're rocking here. You do not need Renan Lodi here. You can go. I mean, you do for the chemistry here, but you can go with somebody else. I would recommend, again, you know, I'm falling asleep at it, but like you got to try and get a Ferland Mendy in here at left back, and then you can go with, uh, you know, anyone at left centre back. You can go with Varane, Ramos, Edema Letao, uh, whoever you want to get in chemistry there. Um, I would also say, uh, actually, to be fair, if you you can, what I would say, save up towards this, but go go for Ferland Mendy, and then you can get the uh, the Czech Republic goalkeeper to get full chemistry for now. Then save up towards uh, Varane, and then save up towards Courtois. And I think you're looking good. And then obviously, eventually, you can save up and get Van Dijk instead of uh, Joe Gomez and, and whatnot. Uh, in terms of the rest of the team, though, this team looks like it plays really well in game. I've heard some very good things about that Joe uh, Jota. Sorry, not Joe, that Jota. Um, so that looks like a really good card. And I think that he'd probably play really well at that central cam spot. I've heard some great things about him. Uh, we have got FIFA 21 content next. Uh, loving the content. Everyone's untradeable. Uh, Wine Adam, I have 50,000. Uh, sorry, except Wine Adam. I've got 450k. Uh, lots of fodder as well. Hey, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thanks for uh, for the kind words. Again, you're using that. So you're using Van Bergen and the new card up top. I like that. I respect it. It looks fun. It looks a lot of fun, actually. And you're playing in-game a 4 triple 2 with the Graven Burr. Some, I don't know how to say his last, like, like his full last name, but he, basically the Dutch guy, one Adam at CDDM. This is a very attacking team, actually. This is a very nice team. Uh, I like this team a lot. I would say potentially to move Salah to the left and Van Bergen to the right. And I say that because from what I found with the three-star week foot with Salah, he's typically quite predictable on the right-hand side. However, on the left-hand side... You know, there's more cross-body shots. You've got the crossing. You've got different passing and movement and stuff. Typically, he's a lot less predictable. Or so I found anyway, and it might work a little bit more in your favor. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't really change much in this team, to be fair. I don't think there's anything to change in this team at the minute. I think it's a very, very well-built team. Um, I don't think that I, I would personally do anything to this team for now. Again, check out some foot freeze SBCs, man. Look out for those. Uh, we've got Julian Kelly's team now. Uh, Untradables are SBC cards and objectives. I'm doing a base cycle pack for swaps and i got 400k for upgrades base icon pack for swaps all right first things first frankie de Jong at right cam left cam i would go with um who would i go with at left cam i'm trying to get your taliska still on chemistry um you could probably go with an icon to be fair i wonder if there are any decent icon cdms or center mids this year that aren't too expensive i don't think i recommend icons very often and that mainly is because um, we'll go 400,000. Is that 400k? Is that 4 million? That's 400k. Um, what are we saying for icon CDMs? I don't recommend them that oftenly because I don't know prices of icons this year. I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm not clued up with the prices of icons at all. Um, but let's have a look at some really good sort of defensive midfielder minded icons here because I'm guessing they are playing as CDMs. Um, it is Fernando and, and Modric after all. Uh, what we're looking at. So Roy Keane is a good shout. 380,000 coins. Um, is a decent shout. We can go with Pep Guardiola who's got a bit more 
more pace, less physical, less dribbling, uh, less passing. Oh, sorry, more dribbling, less passing. Um, both are solid plays, to be fair. These are plays that I use towards the start of the game as well, um, especially that Roy Keane. That Roy Keane was very fun to use at the start of the game. I used him in a Man United past and present squad, um, and I actually enjoyed him a lot. So I'd personally go probably for that Roy Keane card. Um, he's actually pretty good at distributing play through, through the uh, CDM role as well. Um, so yeah, I'd probably go Frankie De Jong and Roy Keane, but you could go Pep Guardiola to get full chemistry to Oyarzabal. Um, I would also say maybe if you can afford it, stretch to Furl and Mendioff come at right back. Um, and that's what I would go with for this team. The rest of the team is solid, man. It's looking like it's in a good spot. Um, you know, you've got Dembele, Oyarzabal, Messi, uh, Taliska, really good back line as well. Um, it is looking solid indeed. Uh, we have done David Jones already. We've got, uh, who we got next? Ricey. Big fan from Japan. What? That's sick. Uh, I always love watching your content. If you could rate my team, Taliska, Lewandowski, Marquinhos, and the bench slash reserves uh, uh, are all untradeable. I have about 200k to spend. Keep it the good work. Hey, thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. That's sick. Japan. Honestly, it blows my mind when I see where you guys are from. Um, I forgot that Diego Carlos got an upgrade card as well. This is a nice team, actually. This is a cool team. You're using the new Hazard, which I, I find pretty cool. Um, I'm yet to try that card out, but I might try him this week. Um, that is a fun-looking uh, squad. And then you're playing a five-backing game. That's very interesting. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't change anything in this team, mate. You've got a really nice strike force, a really good midfield, and a, a really, really dominant defense as well. I can't think of anything that I would change in this team because it looks like it's in a really good spot right now. Um, so I personally, again, would just wait to see what we get SBC-wise, get maybe a pack in icon swaps and just see what it brings you um, before you change up your team. Um, Jack's got around 100k for upgrades. Graven Burke, only untradeable. Love the vids, man. Hey, thanks, bro. All right, first things first, my dude. You're going to have to go with um, Van Bergen at right mid. It does not make sense why you would do this Gravenberg and not do Van Bergen, mate. Get him at right mid straight away. You're getting a strong link and a much better right mid out of him. Uh, I don't see why he wouldn't do that. What else would I do in this team? Um, this team is quite temperamental. Maybe maybe just save up for... Or get, sorry, Furl and Mendy at left back. Because, I mean, chemistry is quite important here. Like, the players that you're using for chemistry, should I say. Um, you've got a nice Dutch sort of midfield and attack, which I respect. Yeah, I'd say you may just get Ferland Mendy at left back, mate. That's what I would probably recommend. Um, we have Angel's team. Uh, Sup Haber, right now I play in game and only Son and Messi are tradable. Uh, do you have some improvements to the team? Of course I do, mate. So, what are we saying? So, everyone else is untradable apart from Son and Messi. It's interesting. Uh, I would recommend over at left centre-back spot with a, a Sergio Ramos. Uh, very, very nice centre-back this year. Um, get him at, at left CB. I would also recommend... Um, what would I recommend here? I'd, to be honest with you, mate, I'd probably sell... Like, where are you playing Son? You're playing Son at Lamb. I'd actually probably sell Son, right? And I'd get rid of Reg Reguon. And I'd probably go with... Uh, how much is that Eden Hazard card? I don't know how many coins you've got. This is the issue. Um, but this card looks a lot of fun to use. I would... Oh, 780k? I didn't think it'd be that much. I did not think it'd be that much. You can go with any strong link here at, at the left side. Um, just thinking of good ones to try out. I can't really think of any really good left mid, left back links to try out this year. Um, I suppose you go with... You could go with Coman and Alfonso Davies. Um, that would be a fun one to use. Or Sane Alfonso Davies. Or... Douglas Costa, Alfonso Davies. That would be a decent, um, a decent sort of set to go with. You could also go with Rashford and Tellers. Um, that would be able to get your Carlos on full chem if you wanted to upgrade to the uh, the new uh, team of the tournament, Carlos. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say maybe the only upgrade is maybe upgrading Son to someone. That's about it. Son's a great player as well, so it's not much of an upgrade. It's kind of just, you know, changing things around. Uh, sometimes I feel like I have to make changes, despite sometimes it's just not, you know... A possibility. Um, we've got Alex Harvey's team next. Uh, hey, bro, this is my team. 100k to spare. On trade, was on Mendy, Kante, Ben Yedder, Dembele, and the bench. Second pick is in game. Let's check it out, my friend. Uh, ooh, okay. This is actually really interesting. I like this squad. Um, it's just different. It's different. Using the, the Eredivisie plays, I rate it. It's, it's really cool, actually. Um, Dembele up top with Ben Yedder. you got Van Bergen. Okay. I would say, don't get me wrong, really enjoy Dembele. Really enjoy him. Um, I'm just thinking if there's anyone else you can go with at that left mid spot. So he's got French links, Premier links, Ligue 1 links. Let me have a look for French uh, left-sided players. Because don't get me wrong, I do like Dembele, but he's got low stamina. And I just wonder if there's any more fun players to use there. You can go with Inform Griezmann and give him a go. Um, 
Did you do the Coman objective? You might have done Coman. If you did get Coman there, um, you could save up towards uh, Inform Alan St. Maximine as well. That could be a fun one to use. Or go with this Musa DRB card. This will also be a fun one to use as well. Um, I'm just thinking about maybe trying something different over there with that left back. Apart from, uh, sorry, left mid. Apart from that solid team. Uh, and the last two are going to be from Clued and your boy. Uh, so Clued has got 150k. Gomez, Carlos, Van der Sar, Lucas, and Gabriel Jesus. Sorry, Gabriel Jesus is untradeable. Um, it's a spicy team to be fair. What are you saying in game? You're playing a 4-2-3-1 in game. Um, I mean, in terms of upgrades, realistically, what I would say for this team uh, I, I wouldn't make too many upgrades if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, I would recommend... Uh, see, every time I think of something, I don't think you've got the coins for it. I'm thinking like it's it's possible to look at like an N'Golo Kante. But also then I look at that and I'm thinking, how are you going to get chemistry with that N'Golo Kante? It, this team is in a good spot and you're in an awkward position where you don't have enough coins to upgrade to something, but you... Do you have enough coins to look into things? Again, grind out some icon swaps, open some packs from that, or get yourself an icon from that, and then we can relook at this squad um, in the next episode, and I'll uh, help you out again. And the last one is your boys. Uh, I've got 35k. I can save up on tradables. Are Jesus, Maximan, Coman, and Werner, and the bench. Love the vids. Hey, thanks, bro. I appreciate that, man. Hey, you've got the Coman and Alfonso Davies link. I like that. Um, this is a good team. I would. The only. Th I've got one recommendation. That's it. Kai Havertz for Ziyech. And that is literally it, because I think Kai Havertz with his with his um, physical ability is probably a little bit better than Ziyech, or even as a centre mid, Kovacic over Ziyech for the defensive ability, um, the physicality, uh, you know, the better work rates. I'd say Ko uh, Kovacic for for Ziyech, but apart from that, it's a solid team, mate. So it's solid. I, lo I love the club name as well. His team name is just your mum. Lovely. Thank you very much for that. Well, thank you all for watching the episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are near around here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you lads later.